Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 30th of November. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse share price charts. So this week we have ResMed, Transurban, Wildcat Resources, Data, and Mamota Limited. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you're getting our free newsletter, but our best stock tips come out every Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report. So make sure you are subscribing to that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, we'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is in portfolio management. So if you'd like my help managing your portfolio, then please give me a call. And all the advice here is general only. So here's the weekly chart of ResMed. Um, what's quite interesting is, you know, we've got the buy signal here on the, the weekly RSI, and we've recently got a buy signal as well on the weekly MACD. So to see that on a, on a weekly time frame is, is quite unusual. Um, if I just switch over to the daily, um, as we can see, it's been, been building a base here since the end of September. So for the last two months, clearly we've got these um, higher lows, so good buying of the dip, um, and also there's very clear resistance um, just above $24 there. So you know, given yesterday's move, big volume, it looks like it's on the cusp of breaking through. So essentially a close above 24 here would be your next buy signal. Transurban. So if we have a look at the weekly chart of this one also, we could see it's been in a trading range since um, 2020, so over the last few years. What's interesting is most recently it did break underneath the range, but it quickly recovered back above it. So we could see the sort of oversold nature there. So for it to break a major support level, but quickly recover, you know, we've got a, a false break um, and that should lead to a, a recovery back to, to the top of the range over the next few months. Okay, Wildcat Resources. So as we could see, it's done extremely well in the past several months. Um, so where to from here? Well, we've got um, you know, what looks like a bit of a consolidation here. So sharp move up, and it needs to consolidate that move. So we've got this you know, potential sideways consolidation. Yeah, this move down yesterday saw a big spike in volume. So you'd say that is a bit of a concern. Ideally, you want to see volume continue to drift lower during the consolidation. So just be interesting to see what happens here. I think, um, you know, I'd be looking at these lows as, um, I'd be using that as my line in the sand. So I think if it cracks these lows, you'd be, um, you know, that would be a negative sign and you might end up with a deeper consolidation um, before it's ready to resume the uptrend. Um, Dicker data. So we had a look at this one in the Dynamic Investor Report. Um, recently, we noticed this um, sort of upside break and then the little sort of consolidation here and then the break here for the buy signal. So it's done, it's done pretty well in those several months since then. Now it's consolidating again. So if I just sort of zoom back in, we could see that it's, we've clearly got this sort of sideways range. Um, and I'd use that as the um, buy and sell signals, so break of support here, sell signal, um, a break above resistance is your next buy signal. Okay, finally, my motor. Um, look, not very, not very liquid. I mean, volumes are um, extremely low. Um, try to move to a weekly chart to see a bit more, you know, downtrend here. Obviously, these couple of big moves up on you know, relatively better volume. Looks like that downtrend is over and it should should head higher, but you know, with these lack of, I'll move back to the daily, you know, with these lack of volumes, you just gotta be very careful. I don't think it's almost worth it because, you know, we could see, you know, on, on occasions here where it can fall really quickly um, due to the lack of trading volume, so high risk. Okay, well that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through and I'll try to cover it next Thursday.